Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is map range clamped and unclamped? Let me run this quick little example, then we'll run through the node. Basically, this node lets me map or reassign a number from one range of numbers to another range. So for example, if I typed in 50 and I hit enter, I'm gonna get back a result of 0.5. So let's go ahead and look at the code itself. These are the two nodes, map range clamped and unclamped. They basically have the same functionality, but with one difference, and I'll cover that when we get to it. So we'll look at the unclamped one first. We have an input of a value, then we have an input of the in range A and in range B, which will basically our B our bottom and our top. Then we have an out range A and an out range B, which is basically the bottom of the and the top. Now these aren't really mins and maxes. This is just basically these two ranges map to these two ranges based on our input value. And it's going to move the value from where it is, wherever it is in this range to wherever it is in this range with the same basic position. For an example, let's say you have a player that has between 0 and 100% life, but you are going to go ahead and feed that value into a slider bar of, or a progress bar. Now progress bars have a 0 to 1 range. By using something like this, we could easily input the player's health. The player's health is between 0 and 100, and then we can get out a value between 0 and 1, which is mapped the same. So when I ran this example, we typed in 50 for health, that's roughly 0.5. If they had, let's say, 78, well, we get 0.78. It's really simple when you have simple values that you're changing from 0 to 100 to 0 to 1. But this does work with positive and negative numbers, and it does work with odd ranges. One thing to keep in mind, the difference between our unclamped and our clamped is unclamped will allow values to go above and below our input ranges and our output ranges. Let me show you that. If we typed in zero, we're gonna get back zero. If we type in 100, we're gonna get back one. It's gonna map it to our ranges. Now let's say we were to type in 245 and hit enter. Well now I get back 2.45 because it's basically going to loop back around and remap appropriately. So zero to 100, zero to one, just technically it could be 0 to 100, and then it would be 100 to 200, then 200 to 300, and this number would go appropriately 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So that's why we get this. It also works negatively, so negative 174 is negative 1.74. If we plug in our clamped version, and we go ahead and hook this up as the output, and I run this, 0 is still going to give me 0, 100 will still give me 100, it's still within our range. But any number above or below my minimum input range is no longer going to work. So if I type in, for example, negative 56, well, we're going to get zero. And if we type in a hundred and bunch of numbers, we get a one. So that is the difference between the clamped and unclamped. Clamped is not going to give you a value output beyond or below this range. Unclamped will basically let it wrap around and it will continue giving the same numbers. Keep in mind, you can go negative like I mentioned. So we could have, for example, negative 100 to 100, mapping 0 to 1. If we ran this and we did 100 for our value, well, we're going to get back 0 because uh, we didn't hook it up properly. So let's actually hook it up. There we go. And actually, let's go ahead. Let's do this on the clamp so we can make sure that it's being shown properly. Okay, so now we have negative 100 as our minimum rather than 0. And we'll run this and we'll put in 100. We're going to get back 1 for our value because 100 is going to be the maximum number for our input range. Here, let me go ahead and do this. There we go. Now if we do 0, well, we're going to get 0.5. 0 is right in between, or 50% of the value, or 0.5 for our output between negative 100 and 100. And of course we can do negative 100 and we'll go back 0. It's the bottom number here. So we'll get the bottom number here. And negative 85 will give us 0 0.075. So that is our map range clamped and unclamped. It's useful if you have a value 
within a certain range that you want to then translate to another value within a certain range. And a very useful use, as I mentioned before, is translating between two different types of ranges, such as health, 0 to 100, and a progress bar, 0 to 1. Now the nice thing is, keep in mind, it doesn't really care about these values in terms of maximum and minimum. If your character's health is a maximum of 478 because they have buffs and the minimum they can go is a zero, you don't have to do any fancy math to figure out where it goes on the progress bar. You just have your minimum player health, maximum player health. Go ahead and run this. We'll say right now that the player is currently at 356, so they have roughly 75% of their life left. Really simple and easy. And that is going to wrap up our match map ranged map range unclamped and clamped nodes